Welcome to Nazarbayev University, based in Astana, Kazakhstan, where our subsonic wind tunnel, the AF1600S, can be found in the new School of Engineering and Digital Science. It is used by students on the aerodynamics, flight performance and mechanics and unmanned aerial vehicle design courses, giving them a perfect blend between fundamental theory and practical research. In this case study, we see Associate Professor Basman El Hadidi introduce the lab before hearing students discuss their own use of the subsonic wind tunnel AF1600S in their customised experiments. Hello, uh, this is Basman Al Hadidi from Azerbaijan University. We want to show you here some of our uh, very unique use for your equipment, tech equipment, uh, wind tunnel AF1600. Uh, and as you see, it's an open draft wind tunnel, uh, but we did, did a little bit of customization of the wind tunnel test sections. I'll show you in a second. Uh, this is the control panel, uh, which is pretty much standard. Uh, we can operate the wind tunnel, and we can measure the pressure differences. And uh, just to show you a little bit of our customization inside the uh, test section, we are not using this uh, in the standard way, where we're measuring the aerodynamic lift and drag of a model. Uh, we're actually going to use it for a uh, flight performance experiment. Uh, so we made our very simple uh, aircraft which uh, can freely pitch uh, on a bearing. Uh, it's a powered aircraft, it has its own propeller. Uh, all the powering is going through uh, from the bottom of the wind tunnel section. And it also has an elevator surface to change the pitch. So the unique thing about this experiment and why your equipment, uh, tech equipment wind tunnel is uh, very useful for us is because students can actually measure aircraft performance in the wind tunnel uh, to mimic real flight. Uh, so we've mounted the model on a, a custom support that has a, a force balance. And this is all connected and linked to our uh, a custom interface that two of our research students, uh, both Amira and Rawan, and they will present themselves later, uh, did a very uh, unique interface uh, where they measure the motor speed and they measure the pitch angle of the plane and they can also measure the forces in real time. Uh, so with uh, no further ado, I will let them uh, present uh, both the first uh, two experiments. Hello, my name is uh, Rawan. I'm a research assistant. Today I will demonstrate the, our scientific experiment based on the steady level flight conditions. Uh, now we will turn on the wind tunnel uh, to set up the experiment. So, as you may see, our plane uh, is operating manually. We can manually adjust the thrust, but uh, we will turn on the uh, now uh, automatic control uh, to compensate the drag forces. And uh, you might you might see on the screen that the thrust is increasing with the increasing uh, speed of the airflow. Uh, so now we are increasing the airflow. So you might see on the uh, speed dial that. Uh, Trust of the motor also uh, increases with the airflow. Here's our control panel. So it's a wind tunnel from the tech equipment. We can uh, control the speed of air from from uh, from this uh, panel, and the, uh, the speed of the air can be observed uh, by the pressure difference on this indicator. So this one is a control panel of the plane. It has a speed control and the elevator control, and uh, also. Uh, two dials which shows the motor speed and the pitch angle. So speed of the motor, speed of the plane can be manually controlled or can be controlled by the, by the PID. And the elevator also can be controlled manually or can can be controlled automatically. So right one shows the uh, speed of the motor in the thrust of the motor in a percentage and. The, and this one shows the pitch angle in uh, degrees. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Elmira. Um, 
I am research assistant in this lab, and I want to introduce you the second experiment in, in which we will observe the effect of the elevator angle on the pitch of the plane. Uh, so this is our model, it's pretty pitchable as you can see, and we want to show that uh, when we adjust these, the settings of the angle of the elevator on the tail of the plane, it will uh, control the angle of the of the plane. Also, when we, uh, although when we increase the speed of the wind tunnel, it will automatically pitch. Um, we can uh, also control the pitch through the control surfaces of the plane. The subsonic wind tunnel AF1600S used by this autonomous research university gives students the flexibility to customise experiments and gain a greater appreciation and application of theory to real-life scenarios, bridging the engineering theory to application gap. Associate Professor Basman El Hadidi remarked, it offers much more than just being able to teach students the principles of flight mechanics, such as lift and drag. It offers flexibility to run innovative, realistic flight performance experiments by showing how a model could behave in the atmosphere, replicated here in the wind tunnel. This gives students a greater appreciation and application of theory to real-life scenarios. To find out more about research undertaken at Nazarbayev University and more information about the subsonic wind tunnel AF1600S, you'll find more details in the blog and the links below. Thanks for watching.